Hello crafty friends, it's Erica, Scrap Diva 29. Welcome back to my channel. I am coming on today with a design team project for the KLJUYP store. If you tuned into my channel yesterday, I did share the package that they sent me and it was only a few dies, so I was able to complete a few projects pretty quickly. So I wanted to show you what I created. Um, this set of dies right here, the little presents, I didn't realize they actually create a shaker. Um, so I made a bunch of shaker presents. This is definitely a must have for your Christmas stash. I love it. it both um, Christmas presents come in a big and a small, and then they both come with really pretty bows and little centers. And then they have this set of words that is in their store and the cozy, the C-O-S-Y, I was informed that it actually is a correct spelling in other countries, which I did not know. Learned something new yesterday. Um, you know, in the USA, we spell it with the Z. So there is actually two listings on their um, store. So you can get it in like the American version or you can get it in the version that you spell it in your country. Um, several of my international subscribers did um, inform me of that yesterday. So thank you to all of you lovely ladies who sent me um, a message regarding the spelling. So this is actually a really cute set. So love playing with that. And then they have two new drink cups in their um, shop. They have this cocktail, um, which is really fun. It's a really great size. And this cup right here, which is also like another cocktail um, cup with a little umbrella. Um, so I had a lot of fun playing with those. So let me just show you what I created. So here are my Christmas presents and I think they are so much fun. Here is the smaller one up close. Isn't this so cute? I just added some of that, oops, excuse me, some really pretty um, bling from my stash. Um, there's the pretty bow that it comes with. That center is actually bling from the KS Craft Store. I will link everything down below. So if you guys are trying to find something that I used, it will be in the description box. So just check there. Um, so that's the first example, super cute. And I did use the pink foam from the Alina Craft Store. Um, and then here are a few more of the tiny ones. I did use that snow and cocoa paper and each present, I think I used like different bling um, that I have in my stash and all of it is gorgeous. Um, I especially love these little sparkly ones on the smaller ones, smaller presents. And then I actually used a bigger like light pink, light pink bling on that one right there. So pretty, right? And then this is my last small one right here. And I just used a variety of paper. I did the snow and cocoa. And then I also used some of the new Michaels Hot Buy paper pad. This um, silver card cardstock is the cardstock that I just picked up from Michaels the other day. It's in the single sheet section where they sell their glitter. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. So if you all see this, I would definitely grab a page. It's really pretty for die cutting. It's super sparkly. And then here is the larger present. And again, I used another um, bling from my stash, that little bubble right there I thought was pretty. And again, some of that diamond table scatter um, that you can find on Allie, super, super pretty. And then here are my other two presents. And I want to, I'm probably going to pop these on a mini album or something like that. That's what I have in mind. Look at that pink one. I added some little seed beads and some stars in that one. So pretty, right? And then this one right here, I don't wanna make you dizzy, but I added some little seed beads in that one and added um, a blue bling. Super, super pretty, right? So those are all of the presents. So love, love, love the present die. And then let me share with you the cocktail. So I did decide to do a Christmas cocktail and I just added a pretty bow. This bow is a die that I picked up um, from AliExpress. If I can find it, I will link it. I'm not really sure when I got it. I got it a long time ago. Um, I just added some fun sequins in my shaker, seed beads, little snowflakes and white um, sequins. And then I made um, my little lime, my lime wedge or my orange wedge and some red foil cardstock. I did a white glitter straw, and then I used that really pretty silver cardstock again that I picked up recently from Michaels. It just makes your project pop, and it's so pretty. So I'm loving that, 
And then I did die cut out the word. So I did want to show you, you know, you could pop on a word on this drink. So it could say, you know, Mary. So this could be a tag or just an embellishment on a scrapbook layout or a scrapbook, or it could be a, a big, it could be a huge Christmas tag. <laughs> or you could even pop it on a wine bottle maybe if you want, like on a wine bottle tag. I don't know. So that's an idea there. And then I did pop the Mary up on foam, but that would be a really cute little um, embellishment for that cup. And then here is my other cup right here with the little umbrella. And again, I did, I did cut out the words so that you could see them. They are popped up on foam to give it dimension. But there it says merry and bright. How cute would that be on a project? I'm loving that. And again, the words are popped up on the foam to give it a little bit of dimension. And then on this one, I did add some really pretty uh, snowflake sequence that I had in my stash and some stars and little hearts. Super, super pretty. And then the last die that I want to show you is this die right here. It's a present border. And I did make a card and it looks like this. And there is where I have the Noel. That's the word set that's in their store. I just layered it with some of the nesting dies that I have in my stash. And those presents are super pretty. I did want to show you, you can go back over. I cut it out of some foil, gold foil cardstock, but you can go back over for that second layered look and create that look, which is really, really pretty. I didn't do it on this particular card, but I did cut it out. And I just wanted to show you gold really didn't go with this particular colors that I used, but um, I just wanted to show you what that would look like if you wanted to do a double layer. That would be really, really pretty. Um, so that is that card right there. And then on the inside, I just finished it off with the stitched square that I had um, in my stash that came with this little nesting set. Um, that I picked up. So um, I'm loving all the new dyes in their store. So check the description box below uh, for product information. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you for stopping by my channel today and I will check you guys out in the next video. Bye for now.